This week's Torah portion, B'Shalach, uh, we're in Marrakesh, Morocco, um, third quarter of the 18th century, Rabbi Raphael Masoud uh, Ibn Mucha lives until the third quarter of the 19th century. We don't know much about him, but he was a Dayan, a rabbi, a Rosh Hashiva in Marrakesh. Um, I got to tell you, when I read his uh, Vort, his, his commentary on B'Shalach, I fell in love with the guy. This, this is pure genius. This is, this is Torah commentary at its best, and you, you'll see why in a moment. So in this week's Torah portion, um, Pharaoh, you know, initially says, all right, go, get out of here, leave, right? That's what he says, kumutsu. But then he changes his mind, right? Because Hashem uh, hardens his heart. Parot changes his mind, says, no, you know what? No, I, I, you know, they, they can't leave. He goes and he chases after them. Veradafacharehim. Rabbi Raphael Masud ibn Mucha asks, first we need to understand what was Parot thinking when he first thought, I'm going to let them go. And what then changed his mind? What happened then when he thought, no, I need to go and chase them? And finally, we're always told, right, and we accept this since kindergarten, that why did Pharaoh not let the Israelites go? Because Hashem hardened his heart, because Hashem, you know, meddled with his heart. Rabbi Raphael Masud asks, possibly for the first time, what thoughts did Hashem seed in Pharaoh's mind and heart? Right, brilliant question. What did he seed in his heart? He seeded in his heart. Talk about cyber warfare. This is cyber warfare. You want to understand cyber warfare? Rabbi Raphael Masud ibn Mucha's commentary. Hashem seeds into Pharaoh's heart a, 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 um, a Talmudic debate. What's the Talmudic debate? In the tractate of Gitin, uh, page uh, 12, uh, Amud Bet, second part of page 12 uh, in Gitin, there is an argument between Rabbi Meir and Chachamim about whether a slave who's given a bill of emancipation, whether it's for his benefit or not. Chachamim, the sages say, if an owner gives a slave a bill of emancipation, of course it's for his benefit. Rabbi Meir says, no, it is not for his benefit. Why? If his owner is a Kohen, then the slave, while he's still the slave to a Kohen, gets to eat from the Trumot. He gets to eat all the, you know, the kebabs and all the barbecue. If he's poor, at least he's got, you know, he knows he's got what to eat. He's sorted out. If he gets a bill of emancipation, food chain goes, he's got to go, you know, you know, he, he's, not, he's not as good as he was back then. So according to Rabbi Meir, no go. If he's given a bill of emancipation, he is worse off than he was as a slave. Chachamim then asks Rabbi Meir, but wait a second. What if the owner isn't a Kohenite? What if the owner is an Israelite? Then there's no trumot here, no problem. We're not going to get into it, but even there, a slave, according to Rabbi Meir, has benefits. Something to do with shtuping a Canaanite, not going to get into it. Very promiscuous. You want to look at it, Gitin, um, 12th page, second side of the page. In any event, this is, the, this is the argument. This is what Hashem seeds in Pharaoh's mind. So when Pharaoh first decides, go, leave, he's thinking to himself, I'm, I'm with Israel. I'm with the sages. The sages say, if I give a bill of emancipation to the Israelites, to a slave, they're my slaves, they're better off. So I want to let them go. But then why does Pharaoh have a change of heart? What does Hashem, why does Pharaoh have a change of heart? What does Hashem do to his mind? He suddenly thinks of Rabbi Meir. He suddenly, talk about deja vu, is he rethinking what happened? Is it, is it a hint to what's going to happen in the future? Right, crazy stuff going on here. Talk about Kabbalah at its best. We have no Kabbalistic commentary here yet, but it's all full of Kabbalah. So Pharaoh first says, I'm going to let them go because I'm following the sages who say it's better to give a slave a bill of emancipation. He's better off that way. Go. But then he thinks, wait a second, but I'm with Rabbi Meir. Rabbi Meir, right, the big Rabbi Meir says, no, they're not better off. And that's why he then goes to chase them. And Rabbi Ref Raphael Masud says, do you want a hint in the Bible, a hint to this future Talmudic dis dip, uh, dispute, what Pharaoh is thinking? Where it says, Charehem, he chased after the Israelites. Acharehem is an acronym for Rabbi Meir Chovu Elehem, for the, the decree of Rabbi Meir that says, they're not better off, go chase them. But wild stuff. I, I, and in fact, I think there is also a deeper meaning here because what Rabbi Raphael Masud is in fact saying, you want to know how Hashem, the good, beat Paro, the evil inclination? He embedded Torah through cyber warfare, right? Torah into his mind and then it was a lost cause. The evil was no longer. It's just a matter of, you know, getting rid of the peel, right? Dropping in the ocean. But the battle is won thanks to the Torah. Thoughts on Rabbi Raphael Masud ibn Mucha of Marrakesh. Shabbat Shalom.